In this video I'm going to cover the use of order dithering and alternative palettes within Zarch. So what we have here is Zarch stock um, using solid colours. So if I get into the game. Um, so all of this is uh, solid and you'll note if I actually kick off the demo mode that this, particularly on the water, there's no dark blues and also on the land uh, the fade, there's no real fade off to black it's just a strike off and that's because the lowest tint level within mode 13 or the, within the Archimedes uh, it doesn't go dark enough to be able to get a really dark uh, fade off to black right so if I quit out of that what I'll do now is um, we are going to use a 50% order did a palette, so this is now working out the palette. Uh, each one of those rows is uh, a different depth, so 0 is the, the furthest away, 15 is the closest to the bottom of the screen. Just wait a sec for that build. Palette, the palette it's using is down the bottom, which is the stock mode 13 palette. It's going to take a while for that finish. Now this is instead of picking the two closest colours uh, within a certain margin of each other so that you don't get two colours that are far apart. So you might for example get black and white to get grey. Right, so you can now see the effect immediately in that you've now got better graduations on some of these um, colour changes. But obviously you can see the dither. Uh, the dither incidentally is going to look somewhat worse on here um, because this is running at 720p so the upscaler on the Pi is actually going to make this look not as well it's not going to look as good as it would running on a true Archimedes. Uh, right let's start that off right so again so we've now got some graduation, graduation on the back but it's not as doesn't make much of an improvement as you would think. Uh, what it does change though, if I can catch something. Wait till it gets down a bit. So uh, we've got some dithering now down on here, so the greens. In fact, if I start the level again, uh, these here, these were previously yellow. Uh, they're now, you can see the, the shade of green, and um, uh, that's dithered as well. And there's some dithering on the yellow up there on the beach, uh, and then also you've got better graduations on the back. So it's a slight improvement. Uh, it, it does look better on a actual Archimedes than it does on here because I was say because of the upscaler. Um, uh, unfortunately, I don't have anything to record on an actual Archimedes, so the, a Pi 2 will have to suffice. Okay, right, that's the stock palette. So if we now look at alternative palettes, so uh, these are documented in the thread on Stardot instantly. So these are the palettes that from a different thread on Stardot. So if I now run that, so that's now, um, this instantly isn't going to show the palette correctly down the bottom. Um, because uh, that's specific for different amounts of red, green, and blue bits uh, that was the, the standard palettes using. So I'll just wait for this to finish. So the, the issue with this palette is, as you can probably see on the screen down the bottom right, is that this those four down the bottom right should be shades of grey, and they got shades of pink and blue to them. So the consequence of that is that we're not going to get a, a good graduation on shades of grey, they're going to have colour in them. So although we get a we get better re representation of red, green and blue, we lose shades of white. As you can see, the, the landing pad has now got <laughs> ghastly colours. Uh, and I can't say that actually it's that noticeable on the landscape. 
and there's probably some subtle changes to the red I guess in the background and you're going to see reds creeping into the water there if I just wait for that to get full a bit so we've now got a, we've got a band of dark red going across there and also in, into the um, landscape as well and the blue graduation is no longer linear uh, because it's getting additional uh, bits of red added to it so that's the first palette if I just pause it there so you can see that's all shaded, shaded the landscape to pink it makes quite a difference to the doing on the pinks that's the first palette if I now show you the second palette uh, so instantly that first palette had three bits of red three bits of green two bits of blue this one's got two bits of red three bits of green and three bits of blue so just run this through again so again we haven't got shades of grey the white down the bottom right corner is, is pink and yellow and at the top left it's shades of green and blue let's wait for this to finish oh incidentally um, Zarch and the original Archimedes they have a they have a palette of 4096 colours you can't do they're not 16 million as they are on the uh, wrist PC and the Pi so we've got these anomalies if we can redefine them to get them closer uh, and Zarch internally uses uh, four bits for red green and blue obviously to match the Archimedes um, so everything you're seeing here is actually look from lookup table that um, is 4096 for each depth again right so there's no noticeable difference on the visual appearance of the game uh, but we do notice it on the blue now the blue is not as bad as what it was on the previous palette just wait for it down a bit here we go um, so it's not as bad on the graduation but obviously we, we've lost the colors in between so it just suddenly goes to a, a brighter color even dithering can't fix <laughs> that um, it's obviously not managed to find any dealers that are even close to the right color so my conclusion from that is that we're probably better off just sticking with a stock palette using solid colors colors uh, i'm not too enamored with the dithering um it's it looks okay on an analog monitor where the colors sort of blend into each other but on lcds it's quite noticeable i mean on the screen i'm looking at here Obviously, it depends on what screen you're looking at, but um, on the screen I'm looking at at the moment, the dithering is really noticeable. Having said that, on my Pi Top, there's that screen, which isn't a particularly good quality screen, I admit, uh, that you don't notice the dithering quite so much. It does actually look better there, so I suppose it's a matter, a matter of choice. However, the drawback with doing dithering is that the optimised line fill routine that I've done. Uh, there's going to be quite a hit to it. Um, I'll just turn this back on. There's going to be quite a hit to it, performance-wise, if I had dithering again, because I won't be able to use four registers to do the flood fills. Oh, well, I could, but uh, I mean, it would then involve using four rotates, uh, four rota additional rotate instructions to rotate the, the dithering round as it, as it steps down the Y and goes across the X and to get the correct... Uh, pattern so um, for the optimized version I'm going to stick with solid colors uh, this um, it's interesting to have a look at it was just an experiment to see what it looked like uh, I, I, um, I modified the original Zarch flood fill routine ironically making it slightly faster uh, to, to actually demonstrate this um, so if you've got any further questions you want to answer or queries please let me know